So you're looking to buy a holiday let, but what kind of standard should that holiday let be? Especially if you're converting it from a standard buy to let property investment. Check out this video as the property expert panel members talk about this very point. Uh, Ray Denton again on YouTube Live. So uh, good to see you there. Uh, refurb existing buy to let to service accommodation. Um, do you think refurb should be significantly high quality standard fittings, etc., in kitchens and bathrooms? Um, I'm going to give you my take on this, and then uh, anyone, any of the panel members who wants to jump in. If you are doing a buy to let, um, you, you 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 can't really directly compare. I don't think anyway a standard buy to let property that you're renting on a monthly basis versus one that you're renting on a short term basis, because you, really your competition is hotels, um, and therefore the standard of your service accommodation needs to be equal, if not better, than hotels. So you can then charge your rent. So I've posted quite a bit of on our first project that we've done in Spain. And I purposely looked at all the properties in the in about three mile radius and said, right, well, how do I improve on every aspect of this, whether that's in the living room, bathrooms, kitchen areas, wherever, looking at soft furnishings, the TVs, the technology that we use, the paintings on the walls, the furnishings. My view, you've got to be the best out there. Competition is hotting up. Airbnb, there are so many properties on there that unless you are better. So if, you, if you're trying to compare buy to let to SA, you're in the wrong ballpark. You should be looking at what other people are doing on Airbnb, and that is your new benchmark, not your standard buy, buy to let properties. Bronwyn, um, Paul, I know you guys do SA, so do you, Tim. Any thoughts from you guys? Yeah, um, serviced accommodation, you know, think about who you're, you're trying to attract. Um, it isn't necessarily holiday makers. So um, for us, we we have quite a lot of people who are coming to work in the area. So for them, what they want is a good kitchen because they want to be able to cook in a group. So there may be a group of contractors coming down, much, much rather have a, um, a really nice um, apartment or, or house even. Uh, it cuts the costs down. So, you, you know, you want really good television, brilliant Wi-Fi, <laughs> great kitchen, and, you know, um, it, it's going to rent day in, day out. So do your research, check check uh, what the demand is going to be in the area. Go and have a look at some other um, cottages, uh, holiday rentals in the area, uh, as if you were going to be renting it. That's a good research to do as well. Paul, other points? I totally agree with everything you said. You know, know your market, because... Uh, the last thing I would do is uh, upmarket to your property if you're going to target the contractor market. Um, but uh, on top of that, uh, don't forget, LMPG will provide all the furniture and soft furnishings that you need. So uh, thank you very much for that opportunity to promote LMPG again. Yeah, and Louise won't ever do with without fire and ball, I've got to be honest, through LMPG. So absolutely brilliant. Um, Ross, you've got your hand up. Yep, just one thing from me is get your team in place. Service accommodation, I get numerous calls probably every week from somebody panicking. They've got no team in place. Plumber, electrician, essential. Yeah, perfect. We're talking about, oh, Paul, you got your hand up again, sorry, Mancy. Yes, just one important thing. Once you've uh, got it to the standard that you uh, you uh, desire, then the other thing is, is find the team that will look after it. So not only the electricians and the plumbers, but your cleaner. Don't go for a standard cleaner because they will only do it to a standard buy to let uh, and not do the ultimate spring clean every time. 